Well, it has been, yes, yeah, six long years, and I would say that uh, I had a, a number of uh, memorable es experiences. Uh, so let me start first with uh, a good uh, initiative that happened uh, the first year that I started with the mandate. For the first time, I had a meeting with North Koreans, me members of the Workers' Party of Korea. That was uh, a possibility that I had to, for the first time, to talk to members of the Korean government, North Korean government. Uh, it was unofficially, though, uh, and uh, but we spent uh, one whole afternoon, no, talking about their perception about the United Nations. Mm -hmm. I asked them questions about um, how they see my a role as special reporter, uh, so it was. It was. I should say now that it was an extraordinary opportunity for me to get to know firsthand how North Koreans officials uh, understand, you know, the functioning of the UN, mm -hmm. understands my mandate as special reporter. Uh, unfortunately we couldn't continue with these meetings. But that was something that I, I, I think it was quite important at the beginning of, of my mandate. Final message to Kim Jong-un. Yeah. If the North, North Korean government wants to become a respectful member of the international community, don't forget that North Korea is a member of the United Nations. Then they should basically cooperate with the United Nations mechanisms. To be more specific is to make the decision to start talking to the UN officials like me. And uh, very soon is going to be my successor. So I hope that Kim Jong-un engages with my, my successor. I think that right now it is a unique opportunity for the parties involved, especially the government of the US, but also the government of the ROK, to take action in terms of opening a channel of negotiation with North Korea before and if a next nuclear test take place. If, in fact, a nuclear test takes place, that will have a lot of negative implications, definitely. First, of course, is going to be the tensions in the Korean Peninsula will escalate. In regards to uh, human rights, a nuclear test will basically uh, mean that all channels of communication with North Korea will be blocked. Single of states and also the United Nations agencies want to deliver assistance, to, uh, humanitarian assistance to North Korea, they will definitely face consequences in terms of, again, the communication being blocked with North Korea and resistance from states to provide humanitarian assistance. So it's going to be an impact on, on life on, of the ordinary people. Well, I just, um, as a matter of principle, as a human rights expert, I should say, that under international law, when sanctions are having a negative impact on basic human rights of the people, like the right to health care, the right to access to adequate food, the right to access to water and sanitation, that goes in contrast to these international human rights principles. These governments should not wait and see that North Korea tests a nuclear weapon. They should, on the contrary, take active action and try to engage North Korea to prevent that a next nuclear test takes place. To do that, you need to put on the table the possibility of easing sanctions. The new administration told me they are now in the process of elaborating the strategy to have a balanced approach towards North Korean human rights agenda balanced approach, meaning uh, being strong in uh, addressing serious human rights abuses, but also trying to um, 
do what is necessary to basically uh, uh, seek engagement with North Korea, which is very interesting, I think. We'll see how the policy finally looks. But these elements that I mentioned to you are interesting, and I think uh, uh, for the time being, uh, they are going in the right direction. During uh, these six years, I never had a chance to visit North Korea uh, at all. I am about to finish. In August 1st, that will be the end. I will uh, continue to my personal activities in my country, in Argentina, where I'm based. I don't know if there's going to be any opportunity to engage with North Korea in a personal capacity. And if that happens, I am not sure what would be my response. But I can assure you that after six years dealing with the situation of human rights in North Korea, I will continue to be uh, engaged on the issue.